what is up it's your boy guys you can subscribe if you want to but guys we can just reach one like thank you guys so much for clicking the video let's get into it guys i've never played one single god of war one thing that I kind of live by is, is just trying and to And the reason why was game. because everybody else was playing it, and I wanted to be different. But and now, I'm my hand and I'm now I'm like, why didn't I get game. into this series? This is, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm here for. So, what better so way not to learn about it than to learn about it? I've never been a part of a project where someone laid out a vision, like, four years prior, and how, like... How well that vision was up Okay. The team on it looks dope. Like, like, yeah, like I've been some recorded, the fourth one made it. Like, like what he wanted, and the visuals are the just freaking stunning. Following his footsteps to kind of get us to where we are. I always just make mouth sounds for Mike Niederquell. So when I would go in and try to describe what I'd want, it was more just like you know, like and you and you're like, oh man, you're like, and this is ridiculous. Like I think if you were to take it out of context and listen to any of the things that I were to tell him. I don't know how he followed any of that direction. The only clear piece of direction I gave him was the world serpent voice. It's this mysterious entity that comes out of the water. It's giant, larger than life, and he wanted its voice to represent that, and he wanted it to be surreal and something you've never heard before and be very alien. I had these really cool uh, Tuvan throat singing videos, and I was like, I really wanted to have this weird combination of monster and, 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 and creature but also like a tube and throat singing thing, so it's almost like cyclical. So I know there's comics for this game. Oh, it's freaking like 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 I'm just like listening, cause cause I I know stuff about this game because I looked up videos, but like that's not the same. I mic up to my mouth and I was like, and it's not that great. I use different pitch plugins, and one of them was kind of like auto tune, right? And that's kind of what gives the world circuit. Oh, that's that's sound. Pro Tools. It's trying. To I could do this. When I do that tube and I'm, I'm a rapper, so, so I. Can you hear me restart like this? <laughs> nah. These are called plugins. No. These are VSTs. Nah. It's me fighting against the auto tune. That's how. It it's kind of dope, kind of actually, saying this. And then once I find the note that I like, I kind of try to hold it as still as possible, and it kind of that's kind of what gave it like its unique characteristic. Once you like start to add some of the plugins. <laughs> So that's kind of like the base. That's pretty dope, dude. The base pitch that I started with, and I kept iterating on. I top could of do that. this. There's there's clicks you might hear in his voice, and some of those clicks are like kitten purrs. Some of them are like buffalo little. Cats. So if I wanted to get into the rap Tiger, industry, there's beluga whale. I could like get into the game uh, industry first. Kind of layer together to kind of give it all those other. That's pretty dope. That See, I'm learning new voice. things. It looks like a freaking demon. We did a lot of Foley recordings down in San Diego, and what that offered us was unique sound recordings to kind of craft the sound of God of War. The sound of the axe, as it whisks through the air, it has that whoosh, and then when it comes back to your hand and punk has that satisfying thunk sound, the actual like really heavy, wet sort of thud sounds that it has when it hits, the sort of uh, cleaving sounds that it has, they seem to just elevate a punch. Guys, on my channel, I pretty much do reactions and all. I'm also going to be looking at the Dreams game, as well as I also play scary games on my channel. I might. That I think a lot of people, it's resonating with there will come a time whenever I come no to this where game. You throw the axe, we have an incoming embellishment. So on top of it, we have. The but you can check through my channel, guys, if you guys uh, think it's something worth when it comes back subscribing to. Uh, based on how far away you throw that, we actually will fast forward or rewind into the sound to do an offset to make sure that that embellishment plays at the right time when you catch it. So it'll always end. <laughs> in your hands. So if you, fold, if you throw it close to you, it'll be <laughs> I actually made homemade bull roars, which are, if you think of like Crocodile Dundee or something like that, when he's spinning this giant thing, wham, 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 wham. So it's basically like a string with a flat piece of wood on it that's kind of um, oblong like that and rounded. 
those recordings ended up just basically being mastered and thrown in as the Dark One's wings. And that's always really rewarding as a sound designer when you can almost take like a singular source and just kind of EQ it and master it and put it in the game. There's so a one of the sound designers what an equal a Q EQ is an, an equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> so they were literally putting their walking on red meat and with the equalizer you can either used, muddy uh, the vocals the by make it sound really muddy areas inside or you can clear it up I think it really depends on what you're going for in the first like three years of my son's life the sounds for fatherhood was screaming but then I, I would say the sounds for fatherhood now has changed to papa that to me sort of and what up master and means good and worth it is him actually it's pretty much me, uh, an initiating a conversation which is a big deal I make the levels of, of the sound like not too high I get I'm only guessing what he means by this look at the game is that like I think the sounds of fatherhood are make sure everything's and then at the end it's sun. I think what I as level as the soundtrack that's currently playing in the game. So let's say the soundtrack is this, uh, you know, everything in the game. We had a is this loud? Where, you don't want the thing uh, to be like 20 times louder unless that's what you're going for. So I'm guessing, usually like with, with rap vocals, you'd want it to be something like that or mumble rap like that. So you can see how it like depends on what you're going for. I'm not sure what they were going for though. Thank you to... Every single person out there. Pretty sure they had a design team for it. Tirelessly to make this game, who suffered and struggled and doubted, but but ignored the doubt or overcame the doubt. Uh, who put in way more than was ever asked. It is no mistake that people are talking positively about the audio scape of this game. This is not the kind of thing people do, you know, just to to get it done. I think they do it because there's part of them that compels them to do something, that makes them desire to actually put a piece of themselves into something, become part of something greater. And I'm so... So I know they're talking about that uh, God of War could probably survive without Kratos, which is kind of interesting to me. I wonder what they're going to do with God of War 5. I did it all. Me. I did not do anything. It's, it's super clear, right? And Anna, I'm very sorry. Uh, for whatever it is I'm going to do in the next 48 to 6 years. That's funny. Boy. Homie was just there. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I hope this uh, kind of like, you know, gave you guys kind of an idea of what uh, it would like, it'd be like to be, you know. Because right now I actually got a program I actually opened up. You know, shoot, might as well show you guys a rap song while we're here. Um, You'll notice this program looks a lot, well, probably look a lot like uh, the program in God of War, if I can just get it opened up. And it's really interesting. It's really interesting stuff, guys. So let's see, where is it at? So as you can see, it looks a lot like uh, the, the Pro Tools program. This is actually a really good industry program. Um, With this program, the effects, the plugins are right here. And you can see, if I pull a plugin up, you'll see that it looks a lot like... Let's go ahead and just do Equalizer, just because he was talking about it. it. looks a lot like some of the plugins that were actually in the game. And, um... Here's what the track sounds like. This is me. 
You see, you wanna step on me, but I'm a bet for free, and I'm a Jeopardy. If everybody wanted it, and everybody's done it, and I don't care if anybody vomited, they stomach it. Hey, and I wake up to the grave. If you ever did my grave, I'm a hit inside of mine, and I never feel mistakes. And the mirror doesn't take, I ain't never second place. If people really wanna try to shame my name, ooh, you try to find the words like Scrabble. I'm about to bring y'all all to the freaking battle. Freaking battle out of the people really wanted the violence. I'm about to get it before these oh. people wanted the climate. Oh, my climate is hotter than any ether coming. And why is it always the ones in the back that's always stunning? And over stomach, I'm overrunning and maybe rubbish. If people wanted the cabbage, then I'm about it. I Sound pretty dope. It sounds pretty dope to me. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Young Tech. Subscribe if you want to. I hope this breakdown kind of like, you know, I mean. Uh, it's not a video anybody asked for, but it's a reaction. It's it's you guys are amazing.